Hey everybody, my name is Chase Pipes. Welcome back to Smoke Mountain Relic Room and Chasing History. And right now we're here at the Collinsville Indian Artifact Show. We're here with our buddy Art, and I absolutely had to get an interview with a true living legend. Now, Art Gerber is probably one, he is the, you need that hat. Okay. Yeah. Art is the Indiana Jones, okay? This is the real guy right here. Art Gerber has been, Art, how long have you been collecting? And, 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 and going out and looking for stuff and discovering artifacts. How, how long have you been doing 55 it? years. 55? Wow, that is awesome. Uh, t tell us about some of your early experiences, like, you know, what collecting was like, you know, uh, you know, back in the, in the early 60s. Oh, it was just marvelous. I had to, I lived right next to the Crib Mound, and uh, I'd go down there and I neglected my business, everything, just to go to the Crib Mound. Everything. So from 1960 to 1970, I spent my time at the Crib. Now that's what you're most famous for. Art discovered the largest cache of artifacts probably ever found in the continental United States. Yeah, on the front cover of my book, Chase, there's 800 blades, and that's Young over, Art. Over 800 blades. Yeah. Here, we show we were zooming in to Young Art there. Young Art. Now what year was that photograph taken? About 1978. 1978. Now what year did you discover the Crib Mountain catch as it's been known? I think, and that, that's been a debatable thing, probably around 70-something. Around 70-something. Now, you've got some awesome stories about, you know, going in there and, and, and looking for this stuff, uh, and, 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 and just some incredible experiences. Can, can you show us some of the blades? Well, actually, there are some of the blades. Can we take them out? Oh, sure. Yeah. we we got to touch it. we got to hold it. We just can't talk about it. It's right it's right there. There you are. So this is this is a crib mound blade. Now what? Tell it for the people that don't know. You know what were these blades? Well, I think they were a form of currency. A form of currency. I think people came down the river because this was on the Ohio River. So this is on the Ohio River. One of the major rivers in the world. And uh, I think that they, the Hopewell probably had a, a toll bridge. And when they passed. They said, we'd like some of your furs. Oh, and maybe we could trade you some raw material to make blades and arrowheads and just anything you want. So a form of currency. So you basically discovered an ancient native bank, in a sense. Hopewell, which is 2,000 years old. Now tell us a little bit about the Hopewell culture. Well, the Hopewell existed around 2,000 years ago. And they were a real sanguinary uh, people, but they were intelligent. And they had a, a shaman or a leader that, you know, was probably a lot smarter than other people. And they developed, uh, they were very tall, comparatively speaking, to really? the other Indians, yeah. So there's archaeological evidence that showed that compared to the rest of the, of the native groups in, the, in this part of the Ohio River Valley, their stature, because of a better diet, were, they were much taller. Well, and then they, I think that they were the original drug dealers. <laughs> That's one way to put it. All right, all right. Original drug dealers. Hold on. Now here, here's the thing. I got We, we got to hear they, this. They could. Uh, they raised nic nicotine. Oh, they tobacco. raised really strong. They called nicotinia. Nicotinia. And it was real strong. And if you smoke excessively, you get high. Wow. And so I think because of their aquarium, whatever you call that, the agriculture thing, that they traded tobacco. And probably tobacco for blades like this. Mm -hmm. So it could have been like, hey, yo, how you doing? You know, you need some nicotine. Hey, hey, you need some nicotine? Hey, look, well, I got everything you want. Okay, okay, so here's what I need. I need 15 of these, okay? Right. You give me 15 of these, I, I give you a little bit of this. So, some, something kind of like that? Something like that. <laughs> Art, that's awesome. And that's a cool way to look at it. Right, it is. It is. Oh. I mean, you have to think of the Hopewell as people and they, they enslaved a lot of people also. And, well, a lot of native cultures did. And uh, where I was at the, the mound at General Electric, which was Hopewell, in fact, it was the sixth largest Hopewell mound in America. Uh, had a little trouble there, but... Uh, uh, we'll talk about that in a sec. Yes, it was an experience. But anyway, I found hundreds of human mandibles that had been cut, polished, and drilled. Wow. And that was a necklace. Wow. That is incredible. But th there's a lot more to prehistory in North America that we don't uh, understand or that's not published. That's the thing, guys, is that, you know, to find out all of the, there's a lot more to find out. So get out on your own and dig and do research. Talk to collectors and, and guys that have actually found this stuff, like art. Uh, art, 
uh, and one of the cool ways that you can do it, uh, and Art's got an awesome book that's on uh, the Crib Mound Catch and kind of a, a story of his life. Uh, it's called the Art Garber story. And as you can see on the picture, you know, there's Art, the young Art, you know, with, at the Crib Mound. And uh, this is a great on book. The back is the Crib Mound. And uh, one of my favorite pieces is this banner. And there's a gentleman, he's called the Kentucky Wildlife Artist. And he's building a great big uh, painting of him at the crib, uh, holding that banner. Sign. There's a good picture of a young Chase Pops in here somewhere. But in, in the back is Art's slideshow, and Art's famous for his slideshow. Really, guys, this is a great book to get. And another book is uh, your your new book that you just came out with, and it's called The G.E. Mound Case. And now this is about your, your trouble. My, my troubles and uh, my prison stay and the, the mob that I met. And, uh, you know, they, they helped me quite a bit in prison. You know, they felt like it was in jest, and they said, you know, we were really supposed to be here, but you aren't. And so if we could ever help you, which they did. There's a lot of great stories in this yeah. book. It really is. Tremendous. And arts, arts got a lot of stories. If you're ever at a relic show or anything like that, you see Art Gerber, come shake his hand, come say hello, because he really is a living legend. Been a good friend for a long time. Art, appreciate the friendship. Love you, buddy. You do, buddy. Thanks for thank, thanks Thank for you. doing this. I love the hat now. <laughs> here, 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 here. Wait, we'll, we'll trade for the hat. Two, hey, yo, two blades for the hat. That's a good deal. <laughs> thanks, guys. Remember, history's thank you. awesome. Woo!